Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for oxygen difluoride. So we have oxygen F2, OF2, and that's going to give us six, six valence electrons from oxygen plus two fluorines with seven valence electrons each. So that's going to give us a total of 20 valence electrons. So remember what, what we do for this is we subtract the largest multiple of 8 out of the total. So that's going to be 16. So that's going to give us 4 remaining. And then we divide that by 2 to give us the number of lone pairs. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. And this is 8 times 2. So the general shape of this molecule is going to be AX2 E2, where this X is the number of atoms connected to the central atom, so there's two fluorines, X2, and that's where this, this two right here should, means this one, and then the number of lone pairs, this two, is represented by the E2, which is the number of um, lone electron pairs on a central atom. So we can go ahead and draw this, this molecule now. So we have oxygen, fluorine, fluorine. So let's go ahead and uh, connect them with single bonds and then surround the fluorines and then do this over here again so this is going to give us one two three four five six seven eight so that's 16 valent 16 electrons so far so we need to have the two more lone pairs so we can put one on top one on the bottom it doesn't really matter where you draw it just as long as they're all there and so it looks like everything has the octet there's eight electrons on each each uh, molecule or each atom rather so that looks to be good. So let's go ahead and check the formal charges. So formal charge, let's go ahead and do the uh, oxygen first in the center there. So that is, remember formal charge is the number of valence electrons brought in. So it's six minus the number of bonds. So it's one, two bonds minus the number of unpaired electrons on the atom. So there's one, two, three, four. So minus four, so that's gonna give us a formal charge of zero, that's good. Now we can check the formal charge of the uh, fluorines. So remember it's seven, because fluorine has seven valence electrons. And then seven minus number of bonds, we can do one bond on each fluorine, minus the number of unpaired electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that is gonna give us zero for both of the fluorines. So, so the formal charge is checked out, so this is gonna be an ideal uh, molecule in that regard. So now we can look at the shape. Based on the AX2E2, we know that that means it is going to be a bent molecule. And um, based on the nature of a bent molecule, it's going to end up being polar. And I'll show you why in a second. So now we can um, look at the hybrid orbitals. So based on the central atom, there's one, two, three, four things connecting to this central atom. So that means SP3. 1, 2, 3, 4 orbitals, 1, 2, 3, 4 orbitals. So this is going to be sp3 hybrid. Okay, and now back to the whole polar, nonpolar stuff, polarity. Um, this is going to be polar because you have the two fluorines, but then you also have the two uh, lone electron pairs, and those pretty much guarantee that this is going to be a polar molecule because those are extremely negative in regard to electronegativity and where the, the electron density lies. So this is going to be a polar molecule. Uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any more questions, let me know. Uh, post them in the comments, give me a message, whatever works for you. And uh, thanks for watching.